Order of the Solar Temple was a Geneva cult founded by Luc Jurret and co-founder Joseph de Mambro in 1984. The cult was very mythology orientated and had Templar Knights beliefs. Jurret would go around the world giving lectures in hopes to find new recruits into the Solar Temple. Di Mambro held such strong power over his followers that he would decide when female members would have children and what their names would be. In the 1980s, they had over 400 members and they eventually adapted the beliefs of astrology along with medieval beliefs and Christianity. Di Mambro claimed to his followers that his son was created after the marriage of two gods and that his daughter was conceived of a virgin birth. As the numbers of members grew, so did the money that was coming into the church. They bought land all over the world, in places such as France, Australia, Canada and Switzerland. Di Mabro claimed to get all his information of the doctrine from his unseen masters. He said they would guide him on how to run the church. Eventually, the members started to decline, and in 1991, most of the group moved to Switzerland. Soon, members would begin to question their beliefs and wonder if Marlborough was really talking to these unseen masters. His own son, Ellie, began to rethink the doctrine his father so tenaciously proclaimed to be the truth. Eventually, Di Mabro ordered the murder of an infant he believed to be the Antichrist. The baby, along with the infant's parents, were killed at the Solar Temple cabin in Quebec. They were brought there by another couple, who would end up killing themselves a few days prior to the murder. In October 4th, 1994, in October 4th, 1994, Di Mabro and Luc Juret ordered the members to set fires to the Switzerland buildings they were staying in at that given time. They believed that, by killing themselves in flames, they would be reborn, only this time on a planet named Sirius. The members blindly followed their leader's orders, setting the two buildings they were in aflame. 48 members of the Solar Temple were killed, some committing suicide, while others were shot and some were even tranquilized or suffocated with plastic bags. Both founders, Jurette and Marbro, were among the dead and leaving more questions than answers in their passing. A year later in December 1995, even after the death of the two leaders, some of the remaining group in France committed suicide. 16 more members were now dead, including three youths. The bodies were laid out in a star-shaped pattern, just like the original mass suicide that happened in Switzerland. A year and a half later, yet another mass suicide would occur in Quebec from the cult, bringing the total death count to 74. It's unknown how many of these exactly were suicides or murders. Some people still wonder if more mass suicides from the remaining Solar Temple members are to come. Charles Manson is easily the most recognizable cult leader in American history. His cult, called the Manson Family, grew truly infamous after the murder of the then-pregnant movie star Sharon Tate. Before Charles Manson and his cult took over 1969 with a dark cloud, Charles was just a man who would spend many years of his life in and out of prison. Charles believed that an event called Helter Skelter would cause an apocalyptic war, stemming from racial tensions in the 1960s. Manson got the idea after listening to the Beatles song Helter Skelter. Manson was also very inspired by the New Testament's book of Revelation. The Manson family was made up of mostly women who were insanely infatuated with their leader, Charles Manson. He would often tell his followers that he was the second coming of Jesus Christ, frequently telling them his visions of himself being nailed to the cross. The Manson family resided in Span Ranch, an old western movie set owned by a blind 80 year old man named George Span. 
Span let the group stay there rent free as long as some of the girls would accompany him in certain sexual acts. The Manson family would soon turn very dark as Charles began talking frequently about Helter Skelter. He devised that they should murder people in order to spark the race war that would bring on the apocalyptic event. In total, the Manson family killed seven people, the most infamous of the murders being that of Sharon Tate. Charles Manson directed his followers to kill Sharon Tate and any other unlucky individuals who were with her. The family first killed a young teenage boy, Stephen Parent, in his car near the Tate residence. The court members then broke into the house to commit the gruesome murders. Sharon Tate was only two weeks away from giving birth before she met her tragic demise. The Manson members tied Sharon up, stabbing her and the other victims numerous times. Before leaving, they wrote on the front door, Pig, with Tate's blood. Charles Manson and his followers were soon apprehended by the police and put on trial. Manson and his followers' behaviour was very bizarre while in court, and at one point, Manson shaved his head, telling the press, I am the devil, and the devil always has a bald head. Manson's female followers, showing their loyalty, shaved their heads as well during the trial. Charles Manson was sentenced to death, but this was thrown out after a Supreme Court ruling that states all death sentences prior to 1972 are invalidated in California. Manson now serves a life sentence at California State Prison. Heaven's Gate was founded by Marshall Applewhite, a UFO-based cult located in San Diego, California in the 1970s. The followers of Heaven Gate believed Earth would come to an end and the only way to survive was to leave Earth and ascend to the next level. They believed to be eligible to go to the next level, one must give up all attachment to their planet, such as possessions, sexuality, friends, family, individuality, and any other human-like characteristic. Some of these rules were brought up in the famous final video by Applewhite called Do's Final Exit, filmed just days before the cult's mass suicide. As the cult grew, rules would soon change, a few new regulations were conceived, and some were cast aside. The idea of extraterrestrials was very important to their doctrine, as Applewhite would often describe himself to his followers as an extraterrestrial walk-in, which, in short, meant he was possessed by an alien. They also believed in the ancient astronaut theory, the idea that Earth has been visited by aliens for thousands of years. Some of the members even went as far as getting castrated to keep their loyalty to Heaven's Gate in hopes of making it to the next level. In 1997, Marshall began taping himself, speaking of mass suicide, and claiming that it was the only way to properly leave Earth and ascend to the next level. He claimed a UFO was trailing behind a comet, waiting for the members to commit suicide so that their souls would leave their bodies and ascend to the spacecraft being spared of the destruction of Earth. The group then rented a mansion in San Diego to commit their mass suicide. They mixed phenobarbital with orange juice and vodka. They also placed plastic bags over their heads to asphyxiate themselves after drinking the mix. They all were neatly laid in bunk beds when the suicides began and they all had five dollar bills and three quarters in their pockets. All 39 of them were dressed exactly the same, black shirts and sweatpants with brand new black and white Nikes. They had armband patches reading, Heaven's Gate Away Team. It took about three days to complete the suicides, as they broke them down into three separate groups, one for each day. Eventually, all 39 members were dead. 
Applewhite was third to last to off himself, and only one member did not commit suicide, being Richard Ford. Instead, he was videotaping the whole thing. The Heaven's Gate cult had wide media coverage since it was so abnormal in their twisted philosophy. The People's Temple was founded in 1955 by Jim Jones and is remembered as the biggest loss of American life pre-9-11 as 918 people committed mass suicide slash murder. Jim Jones was a self-proclaimed communist and was tired of the way the Communist Party was being treated in America. In 1952, Jim began studying to become a pastor in hopes of eventually opening up his own church. Jones soon created his own church in Indianapolis and saw for himself just how lucrative faith healing could be after he witnessed it at the Seventh-day Baptist Church. He and his church members began faking faith healing as a way to bring revenue into the then poor church. To gain more followers, Jones started a religious covenant where he and other pastors would administer fake faith healing unbeknownst to the audience. It would soon come to have 11,000 attendees. Eventually, the People's Temple started asking far more from its members compared to any other church, requesting people to stay there for holidays such as Christmas and Thanksgiving with their real family rather than their blood relatives. Jones would soon turn the church into religious communism and have the members give all their earthly possessions to the church and in turn, the church would tend to any of their needs. Jim Jones, like most cult leaders, started proclaiming he was a Christ-like figure. Jones claimed to have visions of Indianapolis being under attack and soon moved the church to California to avoid it. Jones soon revealed his true views of America, calling it an antichrist nation simply because it's a capitalist society. He began preaching about a nuclear holocaust that was going to happen and told his followers that the People's Temple would be the only survivors, creating a new socialist Garden of Eden. On November 17th, 1978, after a lot of controversy was stirring over the church and their beliefs, a congressman named Lee Ryan went to the People's Temple in order to investigate them. While the congressman was there, some of the members expressed to him that they wanted to leave and were being held against their will in the church. Unfortunately, the congressman and the followers that wanted to leave were gunned down by Jones's security. The following day, Jim Jones ordered his followers to drink a cocktail mixed with cyanide. In total, killing 918 people, 276 of them being children. Jones died from a gunshot wound to the head. It is unknown whether it was suicide or murder. Aum Shinrikyo was a Japanese doomsday base cult created by Shoko Asahara in 1984. The cult started off innocently enough as a yoga class hosted in Asahara's one-bedroom apartment. It slowly grew in size and by 1989 gained full religion status and named a religion for the elite since many of the followers were graduates from many prestigious Japanese universities. Shoko's teachings were very religious based talking frequently about end-of-the-world catastrophes that he predicted. His doomsday prophecy centered around the idea that America would start World War III, claiming it would be a nuclear Armageddon, killing all of humanity and sparing only the followers of Aum Shinrikyo. He claimed this would all happen in 1997, calling America the beast from the Book of Revelation that would eventually attack Japan. As the cult grew in size, so did the controversy surrounding it. 
rumours of unethical practices happening to recruits began to surface, such as holding people against their will, extorting money to donate to the church, and murdering a cult member who tried to leave in 1989. The cult had plans of assassinating anyone who outspokenly stood against their practices, creating an assassination list. They began to create the nerve agent sarin gas, sarin being a chemical weapon, and like any other nerve agent gas, it attacks the victim's nervous system. Sarin is very deadly, only taking 1 to 10 minutes after direct inhalation of it to kill its victim. On March 20th, 1995, our members released sarin gas onto 5 Tokyo subway trains, taking the lives of 13 and affecting over 980 people. Asahara was tipped off that the police were going to raid his religious compounds, so he quickly conducted a plan to attack Tokyo to distract the police. Fortunately, the plan backfired and the police successfully raided his facilities. During the raiding of the main headquarters, police found many explosives, chemical weapons, and a Russian attack helicopter. They also found biological warfare agents such as Ebola and anthrax. They had enough stockpiles of deadly chemicals to kill 4 million people. Alm tried putting out a statement, claiming the chemicals were used for fertilizers. Over 150 cult members were arrested and Shoko Asahara was sentenced to death in 2004, but is still alive today, awaiting execution. Not all the members were caught, and the cult is still very active to this day under a different alias. <laughs>